The Disabled Tyrant's Beloved Pet Fish Transmigration Chapter 4, Stir Fried Pork It wasn't completely unreasonable for Li Yu to want to gain Jing Wang's favor. He had read the original novel and knew that although Mu Tian Chi was supposedly a tyrant in the original novel, he wasn't actually a ruthless and cold-blooded tyrant right from the start. When Mu Tian Chi was still Jing Wang, he at most had a solitary, cold personality and apathetic feelings towards others. Because he was born mute, he was deprived of the right to inherit the throne for a long time. But later on, he still managed to ascend to the position of emperor from the most unlikely candidate amongst the princes. With harsh method, he purged the court and the harem with blood thereby transforming from silent and cold into a cruel tyrant that was feared by all. This kind of transformation was a long mental process, not something that occurred overnight. The twists and turns were not something that could be described clearly with a few words. At this moment, Mu Tian Chi was still a king. It meant that his personality had not yet changed to that of a tyrant. In other words, this tyrant hasn't reached the point where he would behead people at the slightest provocation. Li Yu had already observed this point back then when Mu Tian Chi caught the big white cat but didn't execute it. The big white cat actually purposely crashed into Jing Wang. Although Jing Wang punished it and seemed rather ruthless while giving the punishment, after doing so, he let the cat go and didn't let the cat's blood wash the floor. This was something that wouldn't have happened after he became emperor. It's evident that the current Jing Wang was vengeful but not completely merciless. Moreover, wasn't the fact that Jing Wang actually saved a fish like himself also an example? Therefore, it wasn't difficult to understand why the system gave him the mission to change the tyrant's personality at this point. It was better to act in advance while Mu Tian Chi was still Jing Wang. It was a much better option than trying to do something after he truly became a tyrant. In order to complete the mission, Li Yu specifically had to let go of his pride. Since he needed to become Jing Wang's favored pet fish, voluntarily being friendly towards his owner was a must. But trying to make Jing Wang recognize Li Yu's friendliness and enthusiasm as a tail waving fish was really too hard. Li Yu blew bubbles for quite a while, his mouth even started aching. Jing Wang's gaze was following him but his expression remained apathetic, as if he was an icy mountain that couldn't be thawed. Li Yu very quickly became somewhat tired. He tried so hard to win favor from Jing Wang but Jing Wang's expression didn't change at all. It was actually Wang Shi Gong Gong, who was standing behind Jing Wang, that let out a soft chuckle. Your Highness, look. The fish you rescued is back to life. It's even sneezing. Wang Shi's big, smiling face appeared behind Jing Wang as he looked joyously at the little fish that was blowing bubbles. This fish was pretty interesting. Before it was all wilted and unmoving. Wang Shi had thought this fish wouldn't be able to survive. Who knew it'd be so vigorous and lively after just a short while? Li Yu. Hey, don't misunderstand. I'm trying to say hello. I'm not sneezing. Li Yu blew a bubble at Wang Shi this time, expressing his protest. It can't be helped. No one can understand fish speech. Waving his tail would only cause pain so he could only do his best to blow bubbles. This time Wang Shi misunderstood even more. He felt the fish was blowing bubbles too frequently and started to become somewhat worried. He carefully asked Jing Wang, Your Highness, do you think this fish is sick? Why is it sneezing again? Li Yu. You're the one sneezing. Your entire family is sneezing. Jing Wang didn't respond yet the misunderstood Li Yu continued to spat out a long series of bubbles in fury. Wang Shi instantly became extremely nervous, Your Highness, could this fish be choking on water? Jing Wang. Although Jing Wang can't speak, he's not blind or deaf. He was very clear-minded. How could a fish sneeze or choke on water? This crafty Wang Shi was clearly joking deliberately in order to amuse and entertain Jing Wang. However, this fish. Mu Tian Chi had never seen such a lively fish before. 
looking at the fish in the porcelain jar that kept blowing bubbles with the water plant leaf covering the fish, the corners of his mouth unconsciously curved into a smile. Li Yu, Master. Jing Wang. Look over here. Look over here. Laying in the leaf blanket was inconvenient. Li Yu only hesitated for a moment before he abandoned the leaf that he obtained not long ago and cheerfully swam near Jing Wang. The second step of the main mission was to interact with the tyrant. He blew several bubbles just now but the system didn't give any notifications. This just proved that just blowing bubbles didn't count. This screwed up system never told him what interacting was supposed to compose of. Li Yu can only fumble around himself and boldly attempt things. Finally gaining a rare chance to see Jing Wang, he needed to diligently grab this opportunity and finish the second step right now. Speaking of which, it was actually fitting. Jing Wang was a naturally born mute who couldn't talk. Li Yu was a fish who no one could understand, which in actuality, wasn't that much different than being a mute. To a certain extent, he and Jing Wang have something in common. However, since the two of them can't talk, communication was difficult. How were they supposed to interact? Li Yu tried his best to recall all the tricks he knew. With the green water plant around him, a sudden inspiration struck him, why don't I perform a magnificent hula dance for Jing Wang? If they can't interact, then could he create a way for the two of them to interact? The more he thought about it, the more it felt like a good idea. However, he was still injured and couldn't swing his fish tail wildly. In order to maintain the same position in his lower fish body, he can only lightly move his uninjured upper fish body. Doing what he planned, Li Yu imagined he was a cute seagrass and started to twist his upper body in an exaggerated manner, creating waves over and over in the water. Both Mu Tianqi and Wang Shi was speechless. Jing Wang stared unblinkingly at the little fish. He felt even more so that this fish was somewhat extraordinary. However, because Jing Wang's outward appearance was cold, even if he was somewhat surprised, it didn't easily show on his face. To the side, Wang Shi thought his eyes were going blind. Swallowing his saliva, he said with difficulty, Your Highness, this fish. Could it be that it has cramps? Actually, Wang Shi's initial thoughts was that this fish was twisting and turning as if it was trying to please Jing Wang but then Eunuch Wang heard that only dogs and cats could be smart enough to empathize with human. Could this fish be smart as well? Reason told him that it was impossible. Therefore, Wang Gong Gong felt more like this fish had muscle cramps. Li Yu. You're the one with a muscle cramp. Your entire family has muscle cramps. After Wang Shi wrecked the atmosphere repeatedly, Li Yu was no longer in the mood to continue hula dancing. He danced for this long yet the system didn't make any sound at all. Li Yu might as well stop dancing. Instantly, he dropped on the white pebble bed and rested. After transmigrating into a fish, the first skill he gained was swimming. Right now he was extremely proficient in floating up and down in the water. Jing Wang continued to stare at him. Seeing that the fish stopped moving, he seemed to be thinking about something. Wang Shi immediately found a new topic, Your Highness, how come this fish stopped moving? Li Yu. Being a pet fish was so hard. Why did he have to encounter someone who makes things difficult for him? Li Yu restrained himself and turned around. He can't keep sulking. He needed to focus his energy on how to complete his tasks as soon as possible. Hey system, what counts as interactions? Li Yu attempted to summon the system. Even the hula dance didn't count as an interaction. Wasn't this task too messed up? Most likely, the system also couldn't bear to watch any longer as it reminded him, it's called interaction because it involves actions between the two of you. Li Yu. Li Yu finally understood why he couldn't successfully complete the second step despite using all that effort. Because from the beginning to end, only this fish was moving non-stop. Jing Wang didn't do anything at all so how can that count as an interaction? Then, how can he make Jing Wang do something as well? Li Yu fell into deep thought. 
This was a tyrannical master who didn't even respond to a hula dance after all. Sub. 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 The life of a fish was too hard. As Li Yu concentrated on his worries, Wang Shi was still staring at the fish. Wang Gong Gong had his little schemes. This fish was something that Jing Wang found personally, as well as saving it and bringing it back to this palace himself. Wang Shi has followed Jing Wang for many years. He knew clearly that His Highness had a cold face and an even colder heart. It's rare for him to care about anyone or anything. So what did it meant for him to behave out of the ordinary and save a fish? It meant that this fish managed to catch His Highness's attention. His Highness was slightly interested in this fish. He even ordered Wang Shi to prepare a fish bowl and put this fish inside it. Wasn't this the attitude of someone planning to take care of a fish? Who cares what he wanted to take care of? Wang Shi was so happy he couldn't stop grinning ear to ear. His cold, frozen highness finally warmed up slightly. Wang Shi nagged him a few times before but was afraid to speak bluntly. He was terrified that if he spoke too forthright, Jing Wang's stubborn temper would rise and might not tolerate it. That's why Wang Shi made so much unnecessary fuss. He discovered that Jing Wang's gaze had been following the little fish the entire time. When the little fish was twisting and turning, Jing Wang didn't show any outward response but he also didn't leave. When the little fish stopped swimming, Jing Wang's facial expression didn't change but the rare upward curve of his mouth immediately fell. So, he became a bit unhappy. Wang Shi saw this and immediately felt worried. This wasn't the way to take care of a fish. What's the point of just staring at it the entire time? Wang Shi guessed that Jing Wang had never taken care of a fish before nor any other living things. He probably didn't know what to do. Wang Shi asked carefully, Your Highness, this fish, perhaps it's lacking energy out of hunger. Mu Tian Chi swiftly glanced at him. Wang Shi knew this meant that he was supposed to continue talking and explained with a smile, when a person is hungry, they have no energy. This old servant thinks that a fish should be the same. It probably only has energy when it's not hungry. This servant already prepared some fish food. Why don't I try feeding it? Mu Tian Chi pondered for a moment and lightly nodded. Wang Shi bowed, then nimbly pulled out two bamboo boxes out of his sleeve. Opening them one by one, the boxes were filled with fish food that were red and green in color. Each was made to be the size of rice grain. Mu Tian Shi. Wang Shi picked up a few grains of fish food and in front of Jing Wang, he sprinkled them into the porcelain fish bowl. Li Yu, who was still thinking hard, smelled the scent of food. After transmigrating as a fish, he hasn't eaten yet. His completely hollow stomach immediately started growling. Was there something good to eat? Li Yu looked around all over. His attention was quickly absorbed by the red and green grains scattered in the water. These things smelled heavenly, even more mouth-watering than the delicacies he once ate as a human. He can't finish tasks on an empty stomach. Li Yu quickly persuaded himself and swam over, making a circle around a red grain. This was fish food. He heard that fish food can be made from crushed flour or from crushed insects. He couldn't tell which kind this was, but it really smelled amazing. He really wanted to eat it. On one hand, Li Yu disdained himself for adapting to the tastes of a fish so quickly. On the other hand, Li Yu was so hungry he was drooling. In the end, the craving for food prevailed over his pride. How did fish eat again? Li Yu hesitantly leaned forward and used his fish fins to move the fish food slightly. Suddenly, he became aware of an extremely intense gaze focused onto him. Li Yu looked up and saw Jing Wang's pitch black eyes staring at him unblinkingly. Li Yu. He originally wanted to be more refined and use his fish fins to hold the fish food, then eat it. But if Jing Wang managed to perceive something was off. Although Jing Wang was mute, he was very astute. Li Yu quickly grabbed the fish food with his mouth and dove under the leaf blanket. If he had to eat food like a fish in front of Jing Wang, it strangely felt a bit humiliating. 
it's better to eat hidden away. Once he finished eating, he can go back to doing the task. The fresh tasty fish food quickly melted in his mouth. Li Yu took a few bites enthusiastically. Thank heavens. It's made of flour. However, this rich, heavy taste. How come it's kind of like stir-fried pork and fish? Who cares? As long as Li Yu had something to eat. Stir-fried pork and fish was pretty nice anyways. It placated his inability to eat human food. Li Yu quickly finished eating an entire grain of the red fish food. His stomach was still very hungry so he planned to go out and find the other ones. Because he knew Jing Wang was watching him and was afraid the other would discover something, he could only snatch away the grains one at a time, eating it sneakily before returning to search for more. He slowly discovered that the red fish food tasted better than the green fish food. The green fish food tasted a bit bland. Over there, Jing Wang watched the little fish eat for quite a while, his gaze heavy. For a moment, he felt that the way this little fish used his fins to move the fish food looked somewhat like a human. But very quickly, it was indiscernible again. End chapter The Disabled Tyrant's Beloved Pet Fish Transmigration Chapter 5, Petting Fish Jing Wang was still looking at the fish with a fervent focus. Wang Shi handed over the two boxes, eyes filled with expectation as he looked at Jing Wang. Mu Tian Shi Wang Shi have followed Jing Wang for many years. He knew very clearly how to best compliment his master's wishes quietly. With a smile, he said sincerely, Your Highness, this old servant still has things to do but I haven't finished feeding this fish. Can you help this old servant feed the fish? Mu Tian Chi was slightly startled. Wang Shi already pushed the boxes over and continued very seriously, I prepared two different kinds of fish food. Look, Your Highness. The red one is flavored with stir-fried pork and fish while the green one is flavored with mushroom and green vegetables. This old servant just happened to notice that the little carp seems to like the red one more. Mu Tian Chi Mu Tian Chi unconsciously recalled that the little carp seemed to swim more vigorously while grabbing the red fish food. He silently accepted the box that held the red fish food. Wang Shi smiled so widely that his eyes curved like crescent moons. He warned Jing Wang to avoid feeding the fish too much, then found an excuse and headed out. Holding the fish food, Mu Tian Chi hesitated somewhat since he's never done this kind of thing before. Li Yu waited and waited but Jing Wang still didn't feed him food again. The little carp whose stomach was still hungry couldn't hold back from swimming to the surface of the water and raising his head impatiently. Then, he and Jing Wang, a fish, and a man, very strangely crossed gazes. Li Yu. Li Yu wasn't prepared mentally and was startled. However, he immediately remembered that he was only a fish. No matter how long he stared at Jing Wang, Jing Wang shouldn't have detected anything. What exactly did Jing Wang plan to do? Li Yu couldn't guess it. The big and tall, young man can't speak verbally and always buried his emotions deep within his pitch black eyes. Mu Tian Chi stood in front of the fish bowl for about the duration it took to drink one cup of tea before finally grabbing a small handful of the red fish food from the box and throwing it into the water with force. Li Yu was almost hit by all of the fish food that dropped unexpectedly from the sky. He stared at Jing Wang a bit stunned, feeling somewhat incredulous. By the time he came back to his senses, his fish body was already instinctively pouncing towards the food that Jing Wang provided. With a twirl in the water that created a pretty arc, the little carp carefully grabbed the fish food with his mouth as his chest thumped and jumped frantically. The tyrannical Jing Wang did not only save him, he was even feeding Li Yu personally. Just as he swallowed down the fish food, the system which had been silent for a while suddenly announced. Congratulations, host. The second step of the main mission of the cute pet system the tyrant's guppy pet fish, interacting with the tyrant, has been completed. Congratulations on receiving the corresponding reward. Li Yu. Tears streamed down Li Yu's face. So after all that trouble, this was the required interaction. 
In one go, he completely ate all of the fish food that Jing Wang fed him and then laid down on the snow white stone bed. Now his stomach was no longer hungry. Instead, his stomach was so full that he felt bloated. Regardless whether one was fish or human, after becoming full of food, all they wanted to do was sleep. Since the second step of the mission has been completed without mishaps, Li Yu thought that it wouldn't be too late if he took the reward from the system after he had slept for a while. A person couldn't sleep just anytime or anywhere however as a fish, he didn't have to worry about that. Even if he slept upwards or sideways, it didn't matter at all. Li Yu tilted his head and was very quickly on his way to falling asleep. Jing Wang remembered Wang Shi's words as he was looking at the little carp. He curled two of his fingers and knocked on the fish bowl. Li Yu who was about to fall asleep was shaken awake by the vibrations that was created. Li Yu. What's going on? I really want to sleep. I still have to recover from my injuries. Li Yu didn't want to have interactions with the tyrant if it wasn't a system mission. Jing Wang saw that the fish was still lying motionless on the stony bottom so he directly reached his hands in. Li Yu, who was trying to sleep suddenly felt the rapid current in the fish bowl. What's going on? Li Yu got so scared that his drowsiness went away. When he opened his eyes, he immediately noticed that Jing Wang was reaching a hand into the fish bowl, trying to touch him. Li Yu. Li Yu forcibly restrained the impulse to swing his tail. First of all, he still had injuries on his body. Moving the tail would hurt. Secondly, if he dared to swing at Jing Wang, he definitely would immediately turn into a dead fish. Li Yu's heart was in turmoil. However, Jing Wang's hand didn't grab him directly. Instead, his fingers gave Li Yu a gentle push and drove him off the snow white stone bed. Li Yu. Was Jing Wang not permitting him to sleep? Li Yu, this carp fish, was dumbfounded as he was being pushed to swim by Jing Wang's fingers. He still didn't know what Jing Wang was trying to do. Jing Wang's fingers guided him to practically swim around the entire fish bowl. At the beginning, it scared Li Yu but after a while, he realized that aside from pushing him to swim, Jing Wang didn't do anything else. Li Yu gradually calmed down and occasionally played along by lazily moving his fins. The extremely soft fins inevitably touched Jing Wang's fingers. Mu Tian Chi paused. He looked deeply at the audacious fish that didn't realize what it was doing. If it were a person who dared to do that, Jing Wang would have definitely torn that person into pieces. But this was a fish, not a person, so there's no reason to be that harsh. Jing Wang, who had lowered his guard, suddenly curled his lips wickedly. Li Yu was using his fins to splash water when he suddenly felt heat on the tip of his tail, followed by waves of a strange feeling that made his tail twitch. Li Yu turned around to look. The tyrant was still expressionless but what was that hand trying to do? Oi! Don't do that! Don't curl my tail with your fingers! That part of a fish is near there! It's so itchy! Don't touch it! Eek! The little carp's tail trembled terribly in Jing Wang's fingers. Help! How come he didn't know that the tyrant knew where to touch a fish? Li Yu was pushed by Jing Wang's fingers to swim for several laps. As he became more and more energetic, Jing Wang finally stopped and removed his fingers. Li Yu swam nimbly by himself for a while and surprisingly found that his originally somewhat bloated stomach didn't feel so full anymore. Li Yu thought with amusement. It can't be that because he ate too much, Jing Wang was forcing him to move around to help digestion, right? He didn't think that Jing Wang was the type of person who were very considerate of little animals. Just like how he still didn't know why Jing Wang would save the unconscious and injured him, Jing Wang's sudden action to push him to swim around was another mystery. Jing Wang's sleeve got wet from the water. His sharp brows raised slightly. Li Yu felt like Jing Wang would be changing clothes very soon. After all, a well-raised royalty wouldn't allow himself to wear dirty clothes, even if it was just his sleeves that got slightly wet. As he expected, Jing Wang turned around not long after and left, 
no longer showing his face above the fish bowl. However, Li Yu didn't hear the sound of Jing Wang opening the door. Usually, a master such as himself did not change clothes by themselves. Although Jing Wang couldn't speak, it didn't prevent him from opening the door and finding someone to serve him. Li Yu waited and waited, but in the end, he didn't hear any movement. The healing ability of a fish seemed to be faster than a person. Or perhaps it was because of the system. Nevertheless, after he dozed off and rested for a bit, he felt much better. The area on his tail no longer hurt that much. Li Yu decided to use his tail again. Staying inside this fishbowl alone wasn't enough to see Jing Wang, unless Jing Wang came over himself. Li Yu wanted to check if Jing Wang was still in this room before entering the cute pet system to accept his reward. He wanted to avoid a situation where Jing Wang suddenly wants to play with him but ends up finding Li Yu as an unresponsive fish. Li Yu swung his tail left and right a few times. It really didn't hurt anymore. Then, he gathered his strength and swung with all his might. This time, the strength of the tail allowed him to jump high. Li Yu already prepared ahead of time to sneak a peek at the world outside of the fishbowl. As expected, it was just as he imagined. So exquisite and grand, as expected of a place for royalty. Then he found Jing Wang. Jing Wang was still in the room. The moment that he jumped up, Li Yu caught sight of Jing Wang's figure. Mu Tian Chi was just a few feet away, staring back at him. The black clothes that he was wearing hadn't been tied properly yet. The smooth contours of his body were visible at a glance. He looked at the little carp flailing in midair, his black eyes were filled with shock and amazement. Li Yu. Jing Wang. Oh no. How did he accidentally look at Jing Wang while he's half-dressed? Perhaps, it's because in his confusion, he underestimated how complicated ancient garments were, while overestimating the speed at which Jing Wang changed clothes. This kind of situation made him seem as if he was a pervert, peeping in on a beautiful man. Li Yu speedily looked everywhere else, catching sight of things he was allowed to see and things he shouldn't have looked at. Then with his fish face turning hot, he tilted his body and fell back into the fish bowl, making a little splash. This Jing Wang, how come he didn't change clothes somewhere covered? Fine. There was only a fish in the room. There was no need to do that. Li Yu anxiously hid under the leaf blanket. There were some movements from Jing Wang again. Li Yu could hear Jing Wang's footsteps coming closer and closer. Although Jing Wang was probably unaware that Li Yu was looking at him, for a fish to suddenly jump into the air from a fish bowl, this. Anyone who wasn't blind would have been able to notice. Jing Wang definitely noticed him. Li Yu was terrified. He did his best to pretend that nothing had happened but Jing Wang had already arrived next to the fish bowl. Once again, Li Yu felt a sharp gaze that made him feel uneasy. Li Yu felt as if there was a knife on his back. Li Yu anxiously turned around, pointing his tail at Jing Wang, attempting to bluff his way out. Your Highness. Your Highness. Before Jing Wang could do anything at all, Wang Shi's panicked calls came from outside the door. Li Yu finally breathed a sigh of relief. Jing Wang fastened his jade buttons and gave a deep look at this suspicious little carp fish, then he walked to the door and opened it. Wang Shi respectfully greeted him and said, Your Highness, His Majesty sent someone over. His Majesty, the Emperor was Jing Wang's father. Jing Wang's expression turned cold as he followed Wang Shi to receive the imperial edict. Jing Wang finally left. Li Yu was extremely elated. However, he still had to pretend he didn't hear or understand anything and remain quiet like a chicken. After the sound of footsteps could no longer be heard, he quickly swam into a far corner in the fishbowl and quickly entered the system. Now that the second step of the Tyrant's Guppy Petfish mission was completed, the reward that he was supposed to receive was that portable storage space. He also needed to look at what the third step was along the way. If he kept up this pace, changing back into a human was just around the corner, Li Yu thought happily. As soon as he entered the system, 
he was greeted with a notification asking him if he wanted to examine the portable storage space. Li Yu thought to himself here it comes, and happily clicked yes, unable to contain his joy. The portable storage space immediately opened before his eyes, giving him a panoramic view. Li Yu gave it a glance, the loud praise that he had at the ready completely choked in his throat. He thought the portable storage space would at least be a huge area. It was, actually, only the size of an adult's palm. Li Yu. No way. Just his much. He might as well not have it at all. Wasn't this too stingy? System, since the host disdains it for being small, do you want to give up the reward? Li Yu almost forgot that the system was telepathically connected to him and knew what he was thinking. He immediately shook his head. Forget it, forget it. It's better than nothing at all. System, the capacity of the portable storage space is currently at level 1. There will be side quests later on to expand it. Li Yu thought, it's good the it can level up. That's more like it. But with just this much space, what can be put in it? No matter what he planned to put in it, he probably could only put one or two of them before the space ran out. Li Yu had been a fish for several hours. Originally he had a lot of fantasies about this storage space. For example, he planned to put a whole pile of fish food or a big pile of medicine that fish can use, and then put a huge bowl of fresh water to use for emergencies. After that, he would become a carefree, rich fish. But first of all, he had not obtained any of this stuff yet. Secondly, he suddenly discovered that the portable storage space shrunk in size and could only contain a tiny bit of stuff. For a long moment, he didn't know how to allocate his resources. Not to mention, Jing Wang went outside to receive the Imperial Edict, who knew when he'd be coming back. Li Yu didn't have much time, so he can only put away the portable storage space for the meanwhile and figure things out later. The portable storage space shot out a beam of light, which landed near Li Yu's left fish fin. Li Yu waited for the light to completely disappear to see what will happen. Then he saw that there was an area under his fish fin where a scale changed to the color of jade. End chapter The Disabled Tyrant's Beloved Pet Fish Transmigration Chapter 6, Fish Swam to the Bottom of the Bowl The system notified Li Yu, if you want to use the portable storage space in the future, there's no need to enter the system. Host can directly use your fin to poke at the jade scale three times and open it quickly that way. Anything within your view that can fit into the portable storage space can be placed in there by thinking about it. As the system blabbered on, Li Yu had a faint smile. Although the size of this portable storage space wasn't anything, its function was actually pretty cool. Not bad at all. Then, he went to examine the main mission in the system. Just as he thought. The second step of the tyrant's guppy pet fish was in a completed state. The third step, which had unclear instructions, was now on display. Step 3, get along with the tyrant, time limit, 3 days. Li Yu. This shitty system, what kind of mission involves not only interacting but also getting along with someone? Anyways, the requirement for interacting was so high already. It didn't even count when he tried to do it himself and needed Jing Wang to participate. It's hard to imagine what he needed to do to get along with the tyrant. Also, why the heck was there a time limit? What if he went past the time limit? System, exceeding the time limit is also a type of failure. Host will become fish bones and fists. Li Yu, okay, okay, no need to say it. I got it. Isn't it just completing the task within three days? I'll get a nice rest today, then officially start tomorrow, all right. System, very sorry host, but the countdown has started since the completion of the second step. Li Yu. Li Yu looked carefully. It's all true. Next to the description of the task was a very small countdown timer which was currently decreasing non-stop. System you bastard. 
it already started and you didn't even warn me. What if I forgot to check and slept these three days away, then what? So, the time was counting down while he stayed in the system as well. Lee you couldn't waste any more time. He quickly quit out of the system and returned to the real world. He just happened to hear Wang Shi's voice at this time. Apparently when he went to receive his reward, Jing Wang and Wang Shi came back and started to converse. Good thing during this period of time Jing Wang didn't come over to look at him. Li Yu started swimming a bit from his catatonic state, expressing that he was still very lively. Li Yu eavesdropped and heard Wang Shi's muffled voice say, Why would the emperor suddenly summon your highness to Ganking Palace for questioning? This old servant heard that the emperor went to Zongkui Palace prior to this. Perhaps the imperial consort said something to the emperor. That white cat was the imperial consort's favorite pet after all. Jing Wang seemed to have thought of something and smiled mockingly. Wang Shi hastily said, this servant didn't mean anything else. Naturally, you wouldn't care about that. But showing the emperor respect is still something you need to do. This servant will head over with your highness and explain everything clearly to the emperor. Let's see how the imperial consort can distort the truth that way. Jing Wang declined to comment. Wang Shi said, then this servant will follow your highness. Mu Tian Chi pondered for a moment then held up an arm to stop Wang Shi. He shook his head. Wang Shi was stunned, your highness doesn't want this old servant to follow you this time. As Jing Wang's personal manservant, Wang Shi have looked after Jing Wang since he was very young. When Jing Wang gave him a look, he could more or less understand it. If Jing Wang wanted to say something, Wang Shi was the only one who could interpret it almost precisely. The emperor summoned Jing Wang to Ganking Palace so suddenly. Wang Shi speculated that the woman at Zhong Kui Palace must have done something and whispered some pillow talk. If he was not allowed to come with his highness, wouldn't Jing Wang be at a disadvantage? Jing Wang's emotionless eyes glanced upwards. Wang Shi suddenly understood. It was the emperor who ordered your highness to come over alone, not permitting you to bring any servants. Jing Wang nodded. Wang Shi was speechless. The emperor was the one who summoned Jing Wang for questioning yet he made it so Jing Wang can't speak. What was this supposed to mean? He was afraid that the emperor had been bewitched by the imperial consort and would start favoring the second prince who was her son and would no longer have Jing Wang in his heart. Instantly, Wang Shi's eyes turned red, no. This old servant will follow your highness even at the risk of death. Seeing his face full of concern, Jing Wang hesitated and then lightly tapped his shoulder. Since it was the emperor's will, to deliberately go against it would just give the opponent something over them. Moreover, Jing Wang didn't really think that a mere consort could do anything to him. Then, what does your highness plan to do? Wang Shi asked as he blew his nose. Jing Wang's gaze casually landed on the porcelain fish bowl not far behind Wang Shi. You. Do you plan to? Wang Shi was quite surprised. Was it really as he thought? Jing Wang looked unconcerned, expression calm and at ease, like he was extremely in control of the situation. Wang Shi grinned at his teeth, since you have your own plans, this servant will listen and go prepare right now. So, this was what Li Yu heard. The imperial consort wanted to cause trouble for Jing Wang. Wang Shi and Jing Wang were currently discussing countermeasures. However, Li Yu didn't feel worried for Jing Wang at all. In the novel, this imperial consort looked like she was favored but in the end that didn't last too long. Although the novel didn't describe matter in great details, he presumed this was only a trivial matter. Nothing terrible happened, or else how could Jing Wang ascend the throne later? Not to mention that Jing Wang, this person, was very vindictive. An eye for an eye. If the imperial consort really dared to strike at Jing Wang, she better watch out for not only failure but also getting hit by a counter-attack. Li Yu thought that Jing Wang going to see the emperor would have nothing to do with him. That he only needed to wait quietly in this fishbowl for Jing Wang to return, then resume executing the get-along task. 
The time limit of three days wasn't very long but it wasn't too short either. Seeing how he completed the last two tasks accidentally, perhaps this step will be the same as well. However, what he didn't imagine was that Wang Shi would search around all over and find a small and exquisite jade bowl. He walked over to the fish bowl and he looked at Li Yu with terrible intentions. Li Yu. Stop. What are you doing? Li Yu screamed but Wang Shi immediately rolled up his sleeves and caught him in his hands. Then he nimbly put him into the jade bowl. This jade bowl was too small and the water in the bowl was extremely shallow. It could barely accommodate Li Yu who had to curl into a circle. He couldn't flip around let alone roll over. With just a slight effort, his fish body would appear at the surface of the water. Li Yu felt extremely unsafe and could only bend into a circle sulkily. Wang Shi mumbled to him, Little one, his highness decided to bring you with him so you'll have to endure temporarily. Be good. Don't make his highness look bad. Li Yu. What the fuck? What was Wang Shi saying? Was Jing Wang's head messed up? He can't speak, yet he wanted to bring a fish who also can't speak. No way. Li Yu didn't want to see any emperor or imperial concubine or whatever ah. Because Jing Wang was a noble prince and was guaranteed to be involved in the future plot, Li Yu didn't think the emperor would treat his own son badly. But it wasn't the same for him. He was only a fish. What if the emperor didn't like him and threw him away or cooked him? But then, thinking about it, he wasn't the one in charge. His future fish life was uncertain with this upcoming trip. He needed to come up with a plan quickly and give himself an escape route. He only had one small portable storage space at this time. Li Yu took a deep breath. While Wang Shi was off guard, he crazily tapped at the jade scale with his fin, thinking in his heart, save me some fresh water, I want fresh water. As long as he had enough water, he could live, unless the emperor directly cut off his fish head. Although the jade bowl that he was in currently had water, it was too shallow and didn't feel safe at all. If the person holding the jade bowl trembled, he'd run into big trouble. Rather than leaving the fate of his life in some unknown person's hands, it's more appropriate for him to keep some water. Li Yu have never stored anything inside the portable storage space before and he never imagined it would be put to use this quickly. He only heard the system's description of it once before, everything else completely depended on blind luck. Good thing his memory was pretty good and he remembered most of the system's instructions. In a flash, the water in the porcelain fishbowl clearly decreased to the naked eye. Meanwhile, Li Yu's portable storage space was filled with water. He have water now. Li Yu put away the portable storage space in satisfaction. Wang Shi called in the servants until the room became full of them. They rushed around all over but no one noticed the change in the porcelain fish bowl. Jing Wang decided to bring the little carp to meet the emperor. Over here, Wang Shi arranged everything that was required, preparing another jade bowl about the same size and also several clean outfits for Jing Wang. All of these were carried along with Jing Wang, to be put to use when needed. Although Wang Shi can't follow Jing Wang to see the emperor, he could at least take care of him along the way. Jing Wang indicated that the little carp was a fish who was about to meet the emperor. So he will carry it himself. Wang Shi respectfully held forth the jade bowl. Jing Wang gave it a glance. This bowl was rather small. The fish can't even spread out inside. Wang Shi said, nothing can be done about this. If he was going to see the emperor, bringing a big bowl would be an eyesore. Yes, the little carp would be more comfortable but what would the emperor think? Jing Wang didn't care what the emperor would think but he wasn't satisfied with this small jade bowl. Jing Wang looked at Wang Shi, disdain in his eyes. Wang Shi. Wang Shi thought he must have imagined it and rubbed his eyes forcibly before saying dryly, your Highness, you, you're going to see the Emperor. It's better to bring this jade bowl. Jing Wang walked around him and waved a finger at another servant who looked around and pulled out a bigger bowl. The bowl had designs of wave ripples in the surface and was sufficient. 
it was big enough to hold a pot of soup with space to spare. Wang Shi. Jing Wang was a very stubborn person. He always got what he wanted. The big bowl was quickly brought over. Jing Wang shot Wang Shi a glance and poured the little carp, along with the water in the jade bowl, into the big bowl. Then, he added plenty of extra fresh water inside. Li Yu who had been feeling restrained inside the jade bowl, suddenly felt not so constrained anymore. What's going on? Why was his container changed again? However, this new territory was really impressive looking, he liked it. Li Yu was pumped with fish instinct and swam around majestically in the new territory. Jing Wang moved him into a bigger bowl. He wanted to correct his previous impression of Jing Wang. Occasionally, the tyrant really knew how to be considerate to his pet. Seeing the fish's delighted appearance, Jing Wang pressed his lips together. Thinking for a moment, he pulled out the box of red fish food from his sleeve, and put a bit of fish food into the bowl after a brief consideration. Just in case this fish overdid it and became hungry along the trip. With food to eat, Li Yu was extremely thankful. He was completely oblivious to the fact that with Jing Wang putting him in this big bowl and all of this red fish food floating on the surface of the water, looking from afar, this practically looked like a big bowl of wolfberry fish soup. Jing Wang placed one hand under the bowl and another hand firmly over the top of the bowl in order to prevent the fish from slipping out accidentally. His hand didn't directly touch the fish but Li Yu was still able to feel the warmth from this palm. A warm feeling, with an unexpected sense of comfort. Li Yu originally thought that traveling together with someone wasn't necessarily reliable but with Jing Wang protecting him like this, it should probably be safe. Right? The little carp's anxious heart slowly calmed down in tuned with Jing Wang's footsteps. End chapter.